Welcome to Plant and Water. On today's episode, we're going to discuss the idea of are we watering weeds? Mm. And to get to that point, I want to just mention, you know, plans change. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's, that's really where we are right now in, in, in the day-to-day. -day. Big change, yeah. From day, we'll just take everything from day to day because plans change. Uh, you know, that's what we know right now. So we're going to make plans based on what we know right now, but that could change tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, and because of that, you know, I, I was thinking this because I'm wearing my New Zealand shirt today. Uh, I'm supposed to be getting on a plane uh, this week. Um, May 18th, we were going to be going to New Zealand to see my grandfather just turned 87. And, but I got to talk to him yesterday and he's in good spirits. Good. Plans change. Uh, my sister, I was talking to her uh, today. She lives in Cambodia and they may not be able to come to the States this year. And it'll be two years. I've, I've not seen her um, and my niece and my nephew. And it's hard when plans don't go mm -hmm. to plan. And, but but uh, because of that, really, I think has helped our focus for today. Are we watering weeds? Because we knew we weren't going to New Zealand. I planted a garden, right? I thought, well, hey, I always want to keep garden. We're plant water. That'll draw some great uh, inspiration for our discussion. Uh, so Mary, she wanted to have the, her flower garden. And so we put some seeds in for, she put seeds in for flowers. I water, I water them every day. And I found out yesterday that this one section that's been doing really well, I just really haven't really cared to, to, to see because they're just a, an assorted, a bunch, a bunch of, of uh, wildflowers. And I thought, you know, I'm just watering what she's put out. I didn't know really what they were. And they've been growing up, and I see yesterday, I've been watering weeds. I've been watering weeds. So obviously there were weed seeds there, and I've just been watering that section, and the, the weeds have decided, we love this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> free water. Free water. <laughs> and they've been growing, but I haven't seen any of the wildflowers. Uh, and so I've been kind of wasting my time. But that kind of gets us into the idea spiritually, are we watering weeds. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, there's a crop, there's something that we want to, to happen in our life, the idea of plans that change. Uh, we're watering something and, well, do weeds come up? Do, I didn't plan for those weeds to grow. I planned for the flowers to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, do we water, are we watering weeds? Uh, are we going to continue to do so? Uh, you know, and this gets us to the idea of Matthew 13. And we're going to go from 24 through 30, but uh, JJ, would you like to read 24 yeah. through 26? In yeah, Matthew 13, 24 through 26 says, He put another parable before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while his men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared also. Okay, so that's key. Then the weeds appeared also. Mm -hmm. So they didn't notice the weeds until the good seed uh, put on grain. There's a, there's, there is something very important to that. Just we'll, we'll, we'll put a pin in that and we'll discuss that in a second. But notice it said good seed. He planted good seed. You know, that's why when we, we purchase an assortment of specific plants, we expect that what we purchased mm -hmm. is going to be that. And so, you know, you can know this is good seed. So I know that it didn't, that what I've been watering hasn't come from that, that pack. Where did it come from? Well, where did weeds come from to, to begin with? We understand that because of Adam and Eve's sin, that thorns and thistles were, were the curse for Adam's sin. So as a result of sin came weeds. Mm -hmm. So I know that they didn't come from the good the good packet, it came from what's already there. And it's been there since sin came into this world. All right, so there's always going to be a, a comparison to weeds and sin. Hay fever, hey, why don't, well, let's just throw that in there. Yeah. You know, as, as far as, uh, you know, things that cause allergies, things that we don't like, you know, they're prevalent. I've also been told, though, that a weed is any plant in any place that you don't want it to be. I mean, I, I, that was pretty interesting. I saw a little little Jimmy Jump Up, it's like a miniature pansy, mm -hmm. growing in the middle of the crack of a pavement. They're a beautiful little flower, right? Uh, and, and that's why they're called Jimmy Jump Ups, because they can jump up anywhere. 
Speaking of uh, weeds coming up anywhere, okay. uh, we've got a member here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a matter of fact, one of our shepherds that uses <laughs> a weed plant as a shrubbery uh, around their backyard. Really? And I, I was fascinated by this. You know, it's, they, they grow back in the middle of the woods and they grow pretty big, but he has shaped them up. And anytime it's grown in their flower bed, he's pulled it up, planted it in the back. Actually, when I was in my landscaping business, he's, he asked me to do some of this. Really? Of course, if I told you who it was, you go, oh yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Good old Rick Glass. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, That's awesome. But you inspired this little lesson here. Uh, But he's reused those weeds and to make a a, A privet hedge, or is it? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look like it could be a shrub, you know. Yeah, they can. They get the little leaves on them, and they're ugly if you let them go. But you shape them up and plant them, and they grow anywhere. Yeah. Even in concrete. Yeah. (laughs) So why not repurpose a weed to to grow? And and that might be a good reason to use a weed, but not in your your normal vegetation. Well, and so and and this is this is again (laughs) definitely going down a nerd path. But there are some people who consider. I mean, what do you generally consider a weed? Dandelions. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're invasive. Well, what's interesting also, dandelions, they, they're high in vitamin C. Uh, in fact, when I was a kid... Go munch yourself down. <laughs> yeah, my mother gave us all an empty bowl and said, okay, kids, we're going in the yard, we're going to get our salad. I yeah. said, we're going in the yard, we're going to get our salad? What are you talking about? Yeah. And we got dandelion leaves, dandelion flowers, um, there was uh, parsley, purslane, all these different things in our garden that we, don't, that we took for granted. And we had salad. It was one of the nastiest tasting salads I've ever had. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, it was pretty good. So it was a good lesson to learn when it comes to that. But, yeah. you know, using, you know, some of those weeds are good. You yeah. Know, we consider them weeds, but in our next point, we're about to make some of the weeds that are grown with, are with poisonous. Are poisonous. So, yes. So <laughs> with that concept of, of anything really? is a weed, if it's in a place you don't want it, even something that everyone considers a weed, mm-hmm. you know, if, if you take it and you put it in your garden and you allow it to grow, for instance, wild onions. Mm. I wanted onions. I didn't want to go to the store. And I have wild onions all over the garden. In fact, we have some wild garlic. And apparently that was planted by Native Americans years and years ago. So that's, it is wild, but at one time it wasn't. You can put that in your garden and let it grow. And you can use the, that as chives. So yeah, it, yeah. even something we consider a weed, if you place it in a specific place, like Rick Glass did, that's something that's a, that's a, that's a benefit. So... When it comes to this parable that was just read, that J.J. read for us, notice they sowed weeds. And it's not the definition of, well, anything that is planted in a place you don't want it to be is a weed. That can be a weed, but not this. Hmm. This word specifically, it has a specific meaning, so it's been translated in the ESV as as weed. Mm -hmm. Uh, But this is often called the parable of the wheat and the tares, T-A-R-E-S. Because it's a specific kind of a weed. Um, it's also, uh, another word for it is darnel. Mm-hmm. Um, or what was the word? Um, cheat. cheat. I never heard of that. It's a cheat. It's literally by name, cheat. Makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's, it gives a good word picture. Cheating your crops. <laughs> You're cheating your crops. Um, if someone were to sell you darnel and say it's wheat, they're a cheat. <laughs> literally. Because darnel, a bearded darnel, for instance, it is a weed that looks identical to wheat. And you cannot tell, remember I told you about that putting that pin in that concept? You mm-hmm. can't tell that bearded darnel isn't wheat until the harvest. Mm. So the seed is black, while wheat is more of a white right. tan color. So if you eat bearded darnel, if you were to grind that up and say, oh, I'm going to make some bread out of it, you're going you're gonna to kill whoever eats that. It is extreme, or, or make them extremely sick because it's, it's very poisonous. And so that's what Jesus is talking about. That's why it's important to know, sometimes know the Greek on certain things. We, we understand a little bit more. This isn't just an, an annoyance, a nuisance. This is, this is someone who is trying to do something sinister. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and, and, and notice that's the concept when, uh, well, let's read verses 27 through 30. We're going to find out yeah. who planted this weed. Yeah. All right, Matthew 13, starting with verse 27, it says, And the servants of the master of the house came and said to him, Master, did you know, did you not sow good seed in your field? How then does it have weeds? He said to them, An enemy 
has done this. So the servant said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he said, No, lest in gathering the weeds you would root up the wheat along with them. Let them both grow together until the harvest, and at the harvest time I will tell the reapers, Gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. Well, I love this parable because the imagery that's showing is it's just as telling today um, as, uh, mm-hmm. as, as anything. Where do the servants go first? They come to the master, which would be God. And they say, wait a minute, master, I thought you planted good seed. Mm-hmm. They question the master. Oof. I thought you said this was good seed. It's your fault. How many times when p- plans change? Since sin has come into the world, we already see weeds are the result of that. Mm-hmm. That's where Jesus was going with this parable. Sin takes place. Where's the first thing we go? God, why? Yeah. Yeah. God, why have you allowed this to happen? Mm -hmm. But I love how the master says, wait a minute, an enemy has done this. Mm -hmm. We give the credit to the bad, to God, where we recognize it was Satan who did this. He's the enemy. So when plans change, we got to recognize the enemy is at, you know, is is the culprit behind those things. Uh, you know, when it comes to that. Um, but let's see how. Let's see the enemy's done this. So the servant said to him, "Well, do you want us to go and gather them? That that makes sense. Wouldn't isn't that what we should do when weeds you know come? I saw so many of these weeds. I started picking them." But then I realized, as I'm looking closer, the reason that the, the good seeds haven't really grown very well is because they've been more in a shaded area. And so they're growing a lot slower, but they were there. So I stopped pulling. Because if I start pulling those, I'm going to also pull the good. The good. Mm-hmm. And my wife's not going to be too happy with it. <laughs> yeah. Right? So you've got to let them grow together and start for one so you can start recognizing it's an assorted seed plant i don't know if i was pulling weeds or good Mm -hmm. and so that's what this is saying it's bearded darnel and it's wheat if you go to start pulling the bearded darnel you're going to uproot the wheat as well because you don't know which one you're pulling Mm -hmm. so good and bad grow together we've got to be careful uh when it when it comes to this um but what is the consequence of watering weeds? The weeds are there. What happens if we continue to, to water them? We're, we're nurturing evil. In our definition of the concept of weeds, spiritually, what is the consequence? We're, we're nurturing evil. And it's how easy it is, is it for us to allow a root of bitterness to, to grow up? Mm. That's a weed. Yeah. Right, uh, it was Hebrews chapter ten. Uh, what, how how easy is it if we can a- a- allow certain things? Maybe we neglect our faith and we start allowing roots of negativity to grow up. Uh, we we start allowing frustration to grow up. We start allowing anger to grow up. We uh, we uh, uh, allow uh, grudges to take hold, mm-hmm. and before you know it, what's interesting is as weed grows. Okay, when you were doing that. Um, did you ever come across a, a privet hedge that had had established itself? Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen also a privet hedge that's just come from seed? Mm-hmm. Which one's easier to pull? Oh, the one from seed. The one straight from seed, because it's just like, duke. Yeah. There's like a hundred of them yeah. in one little clump, and you're like, duke, 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 duke. but when it's a privet hedge and it's got root system, and then all of a sudden root system, privet hedge, privet hedge, privet hedge. Yeah. You're pulling up one, but then you're pulling up ten, and mm-hmm. you're like, <laughs> and you're just you have to redo your flower bed. <laughs> you're like tied to the bumper of your car, and you're driving. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like who plants these? You yeah. know, uh, <laughs> so you're pulling them up. It's so much more work, so much more strenuous. I've actually gone to try to pull privet hedge. We've got it all over our backyard, and I have allowed it to. Like I think I've got a good hold on it. And I go to pull, and I didn't have gloves, and it just ripped through my hand. And I'm, yeah. you're talking about <laughs> cuts all over, you know, and you're like, it causes pain. It can cause devastation. It can cause destruction. Um, 
especially for those who are allergic to it. That's a whole other discussion. <laughs> so to nurture bad habits, to nurture bad things in our life is never good. We're watering weeds. In fact, Jesus has just talked about a different parable, the parable of the sower in the same chapter, just right before this one. And it's incredible how Jesus is comparing both of them. Uh, so let's look at that um, in Matthew 13, 22 uh, and 23. All right. Matthew 13, 22 starts off saying, As for what was sown among thorns, this is the one who hears the word. But the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. As for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who, bear, who hears the word and understands it. He indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, in another thirty. So what are the consequences of watering weeds in our life? We're nurturing evil. And Jesus explains the consequence of the good seed growing alongside the thorns and the thistles. It will choke the word. It will literally stop that good plant from growing. Mm. And what is that? He then says, it's the cares of the world. How much, how, how much are we, how, how many cares of the world do we have right now? The world mm -hmm. is in a world of hurt. Right. There's a lot of people, and this, the idea of cares is anxiety. The word here is, for care, is anxiety. Uh, we have same words used in 1 Peter 5, verse 7. I like to read that. Really, verse 6, beginning, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time He may exalt you, casting all your anxieties, ESV, New King James is cares. Casting all your, your cares on Him, your anxieties on Him, because He cares for you. When we allow the weeds of, 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 of evil, of, of bitterness, of wrath, of anger, of, of anxiety to grow up next to the good seed, it will choke out the, the plant that God wants for you, the, the plan that God wants for you. You know, many are the plans of a man's heart, but the Lord directs his step. Who's the sower in your life? Is God the sower? Or are you the sower? And so sometimes we will plant ourselves right next to, uh, to a weed mm -hmm. that's been well established, and it's going to be dangerous for us. Notice the deceitfulness. Why is it dangerous? Because it's deceitful. You may not even see that root ball growing uh, right underneath the surface. You go to plant your crop in, in, a, in a bed of privet hedge, you ain't getting anything from that. Um, or you aren't going to be getting anything from that. Um, yeah, so notice it's choking. It'll choke the word because of the deceitfulness, what? Of riches. We can completely pursue what we have the right, what? Um, under the Constitution, we have, we understand that we, uh, or we recognize that we are, uh, we have uh, the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, how many of us in our pursuit of happiness are pursuing the deceitfulness of riches? Well, how many people have recognized that riches don't last? Uh, and, you know, something that may have been a sure thing in the stock market uh, isn't so sure. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Air New Zealand is what we were going to be using to go to, to, to fly. I looked at the stock uh, yesterday, $2 a share for Air New Zealand. Hmm. Man, if that goes under, I'm going to have, a, have a, some trouble trying to get home. Uh, you know, so the ideas of, um, or, you know, to see my family, the ideas of that, nothing's a sure thing in this world. If we think that it is, we're deceived. And that's the deceitfulness of riches, and that will choke out what God has in mind for us. And go, notice it says, and it proves unfruitful. Right. We, will be, we will not bear fruit for God. We will come up bare every time. So that really is the, the focus that I wanted us to, to look at today. In, uh, are we watering weeds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> I guess that takes inward reflection because something I thought may have been really good I think this, this is neat, a neat just perspective. Something that I thought was really good may turn out to be a weed. And I would never have thought that until something else changed. So because of changes, how many of us have seen that the rat race 
of just pachoo, 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 going from here to there and everywhere, even in pursuit of something good, has worn ourselves out and has actually pulled us away from our families. Mm. How many people have thought soccer was the best thing in the world for their kids? And then all of a sudden, because you can't do it, oh, we, we've been playing board games. Mm-hmm. I thought board games were only if you're bored. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it's in the name. Come on. <laughs> but you're actually laughing together. You know, we've, we've, been, we've had a Settlers of Catan game going on for a couple weeks now. It's just on, on mm-hmm. the, the, the dining room table. And it is a blast. No, oh, yeah. We're having a blast. It's <laughs> hilarious. You know, just sitting together as a family. You know? And so things that we may have thought were really incredible may turn out to be weeds. Things that we may have thought that weren't that important have become vital. Mm. When things like this have taken place, when anxiety or cares, it's, it, it's, either, it's going to humble us. That's why he says, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. God has humbled this society, has humbled this world mm-hmm. uh, as a result of this. We've got to, um, or, or, or we can look at that and see um, we can be humble or we can be humbled at the end of the day. Um, can we look to God during this time? Um, but again, that's, uh, th- we're just trying to find positive in that. There's plenty of negatives we can find in all this. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to hold to that. There's plenty of weeds that we can find during all of this, but there are good seeds as well. Let's try to make sure that we're not watering the weeds, but that we're watering the good seed. Thank yeah, you so much for joining us. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's been, been a great, great day. Um, do, do we want to mention, if, if you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at richard at deerfootcoc.com. And we'd love for you to join us uh, with our online services at 10 o'clock. And you can find that on, on uh, deerfootcoc.com mm-hmm. or, or on Deerfoot Church of Christ, our Facebook page. And we're streaming uh, live on Sundays. Uh, but uh, until we, we talk again, uh, God bless. Have a good day.